Yeah, it's fine. All right, good. Hi, everybody. I did a Yule video on Yule that you have not seen. It has not been uploaded because when I went to upload it on Yule Eve, um, I uh, discovered that YouTube no longer has their uh, video editor because apparently nobody uses it. YouTube, this person used it. <laughs> so now I have to figure out some other way to edit that together to get it off my phone because my computer wouldn't recognize my phone onto the computer so that I can find some other way to edit it. Um, but so that will be up at some point. I just don't know when. But here I am. It's the day after Christmas. I wanted to say Merry Christmas to everybody. And I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Um, and, uh, oh, I got this in my stocking. I love it. I'm never taking it off. I'm just gonna, this is, I'm wearing this all the time now. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to pop on and tell you what's been going on with me in my practice lately. Um, if you used to watch me, then you know that I've never been really drawn to having a matron goddess or a patron god. Um, but lately I've been very called to sort of uh, work with Persephone. I feel I'm very drawn to her and I feel this really strong connection. So I'm kind of looking into it more. Still not like devoting myself to her, but I'm definitely learning more. And um, Persephone, if you don't know, is the queen of the underworld. She's married to Hades and she is also the goddess of flowers. So she has a duality. She rules over two different realms and she, you know, kind of has that balance that I am so often seeking. Um, but I'm very connected to that because I sort of feel like I live two different lives all the time. So I have tax season where I'm basically, you know, in December, I'm getting ready for tax season and then I'm working through tax season through April and May, we're kind of winding down for it. So for almost half the year, I'm living one sort of life, you know, one sort of lifestyle. I live, breathe, I'm at work all the time. I'm rarely home. And then the other half of the year, it's like I'm rebirthed in May and I come out and here's Tara, the fun loving person that everybody likes to be around. Um, it's very, I mean, it's really two different worlds that I live in. And um, so I very strongly relate to Persephone and um, really want to learn more about her going between the realms and, and um, just being the goddess she is. So I have picked up some books. Uh, let's see. This one is Persephone Rising, which um, I think was actually, uh, I think I was watching the Wild Moon Woman channel on YouTube and she recommended this book. So I haven't started it yet, but I'm interested to get reading on that. I did read most of Queen of the Sacred Way. I'm not really feeling it. Um, it's supposed to be an anthology to Persephone. Uh, to me, most of it feels more like personal fantasizing about Persephone than anything. Um, but that's just to me. And uh, it's kind of disappointing because most of the reviews on like Amazon were from people who actually contributed to the book, which is unfortunate. Um, I also picked up this book, which is super delicious and wonderful. Look at that gold gilding. Oh my goodness. So this is the Iliad and the Odyssey by Homer obviously translated, uh, but I have not read this in years. Um, and most of it, you know, was very difficult to understand when I was younger and did read it. So I think it will be good because this is, you know, the bulk of Greek mythology right here. This is where it all stems from. So to understand more about the Greek goddess, I think it's very important to understand the rest of the mythology. So I did pick up that book and I just, oh, I just love these beautiful pages. <laughs> it's just mm, yummy. And then finally, I picked up this book, which is called Dark Goddess Craft, and I don't know how good it is. Um, I started reading it, and I really like the writer's style, but I haven't gotten far, very far into it yet. Um, but it's basically about working with all of the dark goddesses, and what is a dark goddess, and why do we feel the need to call them dark goddess, and then it goes through several of those goddesses and gives you ways to work with them and whatnot. So I'm going to kind of read all of these things along the same time. Um, but I really feel like it's important 
uh, for me to work with this energy right now. You know, I've had a lot of death in my life lately, just in the last year and a half, two years. It just feels like death is all around me. And like I'm just elbows deep in it. And so understanding the underworld goddesses, not just Persephone, but just kind of learning more about it and working with that energy, I think is really healing for me. Um, and uh, just something I really need to delve into right now. So that's kind of where I've been at. I've been doing a lot of online research. Now I have some books. Um, but that's, you know, it's a good time. It's winter. It's time for shadow work anyway. So why not? So that's basically where I'm at with my practice right now. Um, and then, you know, I've been doing in my Yule video that you haven't seen yet. I did mention that I've been doing the moon box. I've gotten two so far and I really love them. And I think, um, that it really is inspirational to, have those outside ideas come every month, especially for somebody who's not part of like a coven or something. Um, it, it just kind of gives you something to focus on for the month. So it's really cool. And they do a personal oracle reading every month with your box. And this is the card that I got this month in the December box. And it says, Immortal Treasures. Within you are precious immortal treasures, gifts of your soul, which include the ability that you have to transmit healing. Honor yourself as a healer. Whether formally or informally, your soul brings a special healing light to humanity. You have divine support in your role as a healer in whatever way, usual or highly unusual, that this is unfolding for you now. And I've never really considered myself a healer. It's not something, you know, I'm not into tarot. I'm not into Reiki. I don't do any of those things. I pay for those things to be done for me. <laughs> but I am not, like, I don't do those things. You know, I don't really do crystal healing on anyone except myself and, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's been an interesting card to kind of ponder this month and think of. And really the only thing I've been trying to heal that I thought of was myself after all these things that have been going on. But truthfully, I have been trying to do things to heal my family as well. And uh, it was kind of nice because I put a lot into sort of the Christmas holiday celebration this year. And like we went all out with decorating and had the big family thing in our house and just tried to make it really as comfortable and homey and, and you know, traditional as it was, you know, during my childhood with all the family traditions. And I really put a lot into that this year. And my dad said to me yesterday, he said, thank you for everything. He said, it was going to be really hard for me to have this first year without you know, this first Christmas without your mom and he said um I didn't know how it was gonna go but actually it really was not that bad and that's because of you and I thought you know what that's what the card is talking about so it's been um, a very interesting December and uh with the the birth of the light I am really looking forward to see what else comes my way so I think that is everything I really wanted to bring up this video. I just wanted to say hi and let you know that I am still around. I did not just make one video and drop off the face of the earth. It's just that if I want to do video edits, <laughs> I need a new plan. <laughs> Freaking frack. So what video editors are you guys using? Um, I think I can just use my Windows Movie Maker, but I don't know when to actually get those videos off my phone. So yeah, anyway, that's it. Blessed be.